Lose a Working Title sponsored by C.S. Lewis Bologna. Come say lay at the Groundlings. <laughs> laughs and cheer. In fact, uh, I went home a couple months ago and I found the Now That's What I Call Music Volume 1 CD. So we are going to have some fun with that. Um, also, uh, a couple just house rules uh, real quick. Um, that um, we got uh, excuse me. Sir? Hey. Actually, um, I'm like shaking hey, right now. can I <laughs> can I talk to them real quick? Do you want? Yeah. To the person on the phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hello. Yes, this is the comedy extravaganza slash blues award title sponsored by Cecil Stewart and Stanley and Brown. No, I'm I'm Harrison. I'm one of the hosts. Harrison Lambert. Oh, you've heard of me. Uh, <laughs> actually, can you hold on? Can you hold on one second? Hold on one second. No. <laughs> this is just a friendly reminder. Please turn off your cell phones. Now, for those of you that, for those of you that don't know, me, um, I'm uh, I'm Harrison. Uh, actually, I'm from Philadelphia, so. Uh, Philadelphia, so needless to say, I am quite street. Um, in fact, I, uh, I, developed a, I developed a gangster rap name. See, my, uh, my name's Harrison, so my gangster rap name's It's Son. So, uh, so I cut out that. I rap. Recently, I, I bought a new suit. I went to one of the finest suit shop pays in town. I think you know what I'm talking about, sir. You look like a fellow suitsman. You and me, best places to get suits on three. One, two, three, Sears. <laughs> those in the back, you said Sears. Uh, no, I went to Sears. I'll tell you why I went to Sears. Because, you know, you have your electronics, you have your hardware, so you can kill two birds with one stone. Three, if you're in that kind of mood. Also, I, um... Uh, I tend to spill on myself when I eat, so what I like about the Sears suits is they have a plastic coating on them, like my grandmother's couch! Okay. hey -o! <laughs> uh, She's not here so I can say that. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, when they meet me, though, they think I'm older than I am, you know, they say, I'm an old soul, if you will. And you will. Um, <laughs> Say you're, you're like a 65 year old man trapped in the body of a 22 year old. And I was replied, What? I can't hear you. Because that'll shut him up. Uh, I'm really, I'm not that old, all right? For example, a few days ago, the fellas and I were sitting on the Davenport watching the Magnavision. And we couldn't get a good picture because the rabbit ears weren't giving us a good signal, so we decided to go see a picture at the cinema. On our way out, get this. My girlfriend says, Don't forget to pick me up at Tiffany Lamp at Mealy's like you promised. I said, God damn it, woman, I'm going to Mealy's to pick up at Tiffany Lamp. Sold me a couch, I couldn't return it. Why? Because you can return a couch on 20% sale off day. So, what am I supposed to do? I'll tell you what I'm supposed to do. Not go back there again. They lost a customer that day, and don't forget that. He <laughs> said, Don't worry, I'll get you a coupon. I said, Screw that. I walked out. I know I'm going to get hell for a later, but you know, you got to protect the rep when you're in front of your boys, you know? <laughs> H son. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm getting Alzheimer's, but um <laughs> I'm not that old, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, by the way, I know I keep looking at you. You look familiar. Have we met before? No, what's your name? Jeff, I knew I knew you. Listen, I played bridge with your uncle. Tell me what I said. Thanks, look at that. Here, I'm a butterscotch. Enjoy. Uh, actually, I'll, uh, I'll be honest with you guys because we've become such fast friends. Um, that story I just told you was a bit embellished. 
<laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> but I'm always looking. And in a way, aren't we all looking? And I'm not just talking about out there, but right here. And I know uh, we've only been talking for what seems the better part of four minutes, but I feel like I've known you guys my whole life. <laughs> now that, that, you know, we're good buddies and good chums, it's important that we take the time to, to ask questions that, that we have not yet answered. Questions that matter. I'm not just talking about questions like what, why, where, or even who. But the ones that are important. Questions like, did we ever find out who it was who let the dogs out? find their way home? <laughs> and why can't Waldo just settle down already? <laughs> What's he afraid of? <laughs> and what ever happened to Shaggy? <laughs> because deep down inside, I know it wasn't him. <laughs> and... <laughs> Shaggy. And growing up in the 90s, I've, I've learned, and I, I want you to learn that if you want to live in a full house, you have to take things step by step. <laughs> At the end of the day, my friends, family matters. <laughs> and nothing is Kim Possible. <laughs> Now tonight I want you all to have a few, laugh a few laughs, cheer a few cheers, dream a few dreams, and maybe make a few friends. Am I right, Phil? Phil! <laughs> Phil! Ah. <laughs> I'd like to start the show off on this note. Now, we joke about, about the 90s, but in reality, 90s addi addiction is a serious problem that a lot of people face day to day. Uh, some people my age, some people even older. But the best way to combat this addiction is through knowledge. Let's see how these fine folks deal with their addicted to the 90s. Scene change! <laughs> 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 